Hello YouTube, uh, today I just want to show you a quick update on my uh, Arduino networking project. So, we'll start over here we have a transmitter, so this is basically just a 5 volt power pack, USB lead to power it, and that's an Arduino with a uh, prototyping book shield on top. Uh, this is an NRF24L01 mini transceiver. Uh, these are pretty good, nice and cheap, and actually work quite reliably once you've got them set up right. Uh, that's just a humidity and temperature sensor on top there uh, and that's transmitting constantly every second the values from that uh, sensor there now originally I had a receiver that also had one of these NRF 24L01s uh, but the range was only about maybe 10 meters for going through various walls and such uh, so what I've got is this is the uh, receiver or the master controller and uh, this has uh, just a different, uh, this is a red coloured prototyping shield on top of an Arduino that's been powered off the PC um, so yeah instead of the regular NRF24 L01 I've got this so I'll zoom in a bit this is a, like an upgraded version uh, which features uh, an RF amplifier to give it up in theoretically up to one kilometre of range also that's coupled with a proper aerial socket and a proper aerial as well um, that's working nicely I haven't tested to one kilometre but I do know I can go anywhere in the house or the garage now uh, and I can pick up the signals reliably even though this end only has the unamplified version this is still significant enough to uh, to really increase the signal uh, now instead of having to debug on my PC all the time using the serial monitor I actually found this Matrix Orbital uh, 20 by 4 display um, so a quick look at that just see it focusing now you can see we've got the device name, the sender, the humidity percentage, the temperature in C and the voltage of that battery pack there that's just been monitored as well uh, this is a quite a nice display uh, it's got a serial port and it's got uh, I squared C bus uh, 5 volt input it's got a keypad input and some general purpose outputs um, this display actually came off out of my car well out of an old car um, I was quite an early adopter when it comes to MP3s um, and before MP3 players were available for the car I actually had a PC in my boot connected up to some amplifiers and this little display here along with a little keypad that used to be attached to it to be able to scroll through and choose songs so that was quite interesting I was, it was in a, a plastic unit and I just pulled it apart earlier just so I can use it in this project just had to make up a, a little simple 4 pin cable to connect those two together ah, I was actually using my new crimping tool actually because I've been dying to get on these proper Molex tools for ages I keep crimping them with pliers which just gets boring after a while anyway that's uh, I see that's still working nice and reliably, uh, and that's my update. Um, there'll be a few more, you know, proof of concepts and things like that before I actually go on to more interesting things. Um, I'm, I'm sure you'll all look forward to that when I start actually networking arcade machines together in the future. Thanks for watching.